kuanzia saa 4 za asubuhi. Kutoka Mungu Mungu. Hatushi hapa. Tushi hapa. Tuende na sio eneo jumbea. Tuende na mambo tusiendele. Tuende na mambo tusiendele. Semeni boys. Anakuja mkali wa Bongo Mungu. Wana mwito mtu mzima kigosi. From the group, from the actors, the person that I feel closest to, we've had arguments on the trip, we've had fights, whatever, whatever happened. Um, the person that I feel closest on that we interacted a lot was Ray Kigosi. Um, from watching his interviews or from the things that I heard about him, most people thought he was like khaki or whatever, whatever. But when you meet him, he's a person that's very, very serious about his business. He doesn't like people that disrespect him and he's like, a businessman i can almost compare him to like p diddy or somebody else who's just serious about what he does and he likes to be able to learn and know everything
When I was interacting with Ray, when I get when I got to know Ray, he almost treated me like a younger sibling. I was his younger brother, he was the older brother. He always looked out for us. Um, Ray's biggest asset on the whole trip of Fiesta was he was the one who most of the times he closed out the show. And each time he closed out the show, people was always expecting for more. Um, he had the last thing that he did, like every time he would dance. He's a very, very good dancer of um, Congolese music or Bilingo or Nguasuma or different things like Sebene or different things like that. But what the audience was always waiting for and he was always in the newspaper for it was that jump that he did at the ending of every um, song or the ending of every show. So um, take a look at this clip. Um, there's different clips that I put together. Take a look at Ray, take a look at what he does and you know, the energy and the excitement, everything else that he puts onto the show, he basically was there to carry everyone. Um, it didn't matter if this person was tired, that person was tired. When Ray got on stage, not even it didn't even matter if he was sleeping the day before, if he was tired or he was going through stress. When he got on that stage, he was able to perform better than almost all the musicians. He did things that I was amazed at seeing and the jump that he did, he would jump all the way up and come down, boom. He would just bring the crowd to a frenzy. So take a look at what he does and even if you don't speak Swahili and you can just go through what he's doing you'll be able to understand what he did. <laughs>
There's two class presenters. The first presenter is called Adam, Adam Chomvo. And then there's um there's a second presenter that usually brings the people on stage and his name is B12 or B doesn't. Um what happened is during the whole fiesta they had different people announcing the Bongo movie people to bring him on stage. And um these two actually had like a clash on who would get to introduce the Bongo movie people. Um because Everyone liked them. Everyone had a lot of fun. So um, here's two clips that shows, first of all, B12 announcing, and then second, Adam Chomvo announcing, and get to see like the excitement and what they exactly did to be able to present these people. <laughs> What are we doing to Zima Kigosi? Put a shell of a car! Yay! Never be able to play the Bongo movie. Wow! Safisana! At the point of stage, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, fans and people, don't let them touch your flannel because you call a fiesta in Inga. Bongo model of Toto. How do you want it? Nani? Yes, I want to have a Uh, <laughs> Yes. Keep 
Wewe wareti na natutaka ni wapie wakazi wa mbea wa Skosi Fiesta Kuna makubwa sana na after party pia mji hafa the vibes Kupata vitu kukubwa kama picha nini 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 vote vita kuwebu hapa Kwa mkikosa, shauri lako misi kushiki ipango ala bastofi Karibu, karibu, karibu mzazi Pumbavu Pumbavu